Hello teachers, this video will show you how to copy your previous year's SLO. It will also show you the new BISD website interface and the new Eduphoria interface as well. It is important to watch the entire video as skipping a step will result in the SLO not copying in the correct fashion. Please watch the entire video so that you can see all the details that go along with copying your SLO. The first step is to log into Eduphoria. You'll go ahead and open the BISD website by going to www.bisd.us. Once you're there, on the upper right hand side, you'll see where it says Quick Links. Click on that hyperlink and it will open up a menu. Under Teachers, you will find the Eduphoria platform. Please click where it says Eduphoria. You know you're in the right screen when you see this orange background. Please go ahead and type in your username which is the first part of your email. Do not use at biz.us as this will not allow you to log in. Next, please type in your password to officially log into to Eduphoria. Once you are in Eduphoria, you'll click on the app called Strive. Once inside Strive, you will see several tabs appear. The first thing you will do is go to the very top of the screen and find where it says Archive Goals. You'll want to click on Archive Goals. All of your previous year goals, your, both your professional goal and your student goal, will appear. What you're going to want to look for is your most recent student goal. Again, we are not copying the professional, we are copying the student goal. Once you find your most recent student goal, you'll see that it says 2025, go ahead and click on that. From this screen, you'll click on the upper right hand corner where it says copy to new goal. Make sure you only click once because it will perform or it will give you various copies. Once it copies, you're going to change the date. Click on the month of the start date and with your cursor, go ahead and move it, use the up arrow to turn it to a 9. Use your cursor or your keyboard to bring it down to September 1st because that's going to be our official start date for the SLO. 2025 is good to go. On the target completion date, it is still going to be April, but we're going to change the date to April 2nd. So now we have April 2nd, now we're going to change the year to 2026. Once you do that, you're going to click Save. It is very important that you click Save or the rest of the steps will not go ahead and automatically save for you and all of this will have been done for, for in vain. So please make sure you click Save when you're done with this step. This now copies your SLO. The second thing we're going to do now is go ahead and address your portfolio snapshot. But to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to Aware. To switch to Aware, you have two options. You can click on the upper right hand side where the little Strive icon is and simply click Aware. That will take you there. Or you can click on the Strive icon at the very top again and click where it says Applications Home. There you'll see all the applications again and you'll click on Aware. And now you're ready to address the second step of copying your SLO. Once you're in Aware, you're going to go ahead and look at the left-hand side or the left-hand column. If for some reason you don't see any words next to the icons, that means you need to come to the bottom of the screen and click where the little arrow is. For example, if this is all you see, you're going to want to open up the menu by clicking on the bottom left side to see the actual verbiage that goes with the icons. You're going to come down to where it says Portfolios. It's under Students and it is towards the bottom. Click where it says Portfolios. When you're there, you will see a blank screen. This is what you should see. You will go to the upper hand part of your website and find where it says Archived. Notice all of your previous year SLO portfolios are here in the Archive section. What you're going to want to find is the portfolio that is your most recent that has the paper clip. Once you find that, do not click on anything else, but go ahead and scroll over and click on the three vertical arrows that are on the side on the right. When you're there, click copy. Wait five seconds as it will then go ahead and copy your SLO portfolio. What you're going to do now is change the verbiage of the title of the portfolio. To do that, go to the title of the portfolio and on the right side, you'll see three vertical dots. Click on those vertical dots and click on edit portfolio details. What you're going to want to do with this is make sure you change the year so that it reflects 2025, 2026. Also, put your name so that we know who the portfolio belongs to and what class and if you're in secondary, what period and if you're uh, 
elementary or what grade level. So I will go ahead and put the period, the year, and the name of the teacher. If for some reason you happen to be a resource teacher or this is a specialized class saying perhaps um, dual enrollment or this is an inclusion class or a resource class or a life skills class, we do want you to enter that information under name so that we have a record of it when we're trying to do the data validation portion of the TIA process. Once you update your portfolio name, go ahead and click on the word done on the bottom right side. That completes step two. There is no save button, so you're okay to go from here. Now you move on to the final step. The last step in officially creating your SLO for the school year is to go ahead and add your current students. To do that, you'll find where it says students on the upper left hand side, and next to that you'll find a pencil icon. Go ahead and click on the pencil icon and find the period and students you would like to track. If you're going to add the entire class or when you add the entire class, make sure that you find where it says term one if it's a fall to spring class. And go ahead and click on the the box next to the title of the class to choose the entire class. If for some reason you're not going to be choosing the entire class because you, are, you foresee that a student might be moving out for um, a resource class or whatnot, you can go ahead and click on the students individually by clicking on their names and see that they appear here with the boxes. Once you're done adding your class or the students you want to add, on the very bottom right side you'll click done. Now you'll see that your portfolio is complete.